Hey everybody, Mercat here. So I was finally able to recover my very first Stardew Valley save, a 100% perfection farm without any mods used. Except for that Skull Cavern Elevator. But we don't talk about that. Let Mr. Key be disappointed, I don't care. Anyways, let's go. Let's start inside. So this is my living room, kitchen, and dining area. Nothing too fancy, except for that giant television right there. That's actually pretty fancy. And this right here is the kitchen. I tried to make the chest here seem like they're part of the counter. They really just contain all of my food like one chest for vegetables, one chest for fishes, one for fruits, and one for forage. The cellar down there is full of a heckin' lot of processors for money. It's a whole mess down there so let's just skip it. Next are my two favorite rooms in the entire house, my baby's rooms. This one is for the eldest daughter. I actually made Penny design this through her 14th heart event and then I just added some stuff to make it extra cute. The next one is my baby boy's bedroom. I actually had the most fun designing this one and I think I did a pretty good job, right? No? Just me? Okay. Moving on, this is like a Japanese tea room of some sort. I just really had no idea what to put on this corner. Because why are there no bedrooms in Stardew Valley? And I know that there's a mod for that, but... Anyway, next is the study room. It's just a pretty chill spot to cozy up or attempt to read a book. And this is Shane's room. I know, it's totally out of place. And yes, I did cover it with carpets and plants because this room totally sucks without mods to clean it up. And yes, I did marry Shane, okay? He's good with animals. And I'm an animal, technically. So why wouldn't I want him in the farm? Please don't touch me. Moving on, this is our bedroom. A place pot there that grows hot pepper for Shane and a portrait of Marnie from Leia's 14th heart event so that Shane wouldn't forget how amazing Marnie looks like. It's pretty inappropriate to hang a portrait of your aunt and law in your bedroom though. Well, and this here is an aquarium of my legendary fishes because I love basking in my achievement before going to bed. Just kidding, kinda. Now let's go outside. So I place a bench over here for Chain and Charlie even though they can't use it. I'm just considerate that way. And over here is a bench for normal people. I have a headcanon that whenever my farmer gets visitors, we could hang out here, have some tea, and enjoy this awesome flower field. These two plots are entirely for flowers and I update it every season, but fall is my favorite. Because who doesn't love fairy roses? Come on! I also love sunflowers though. So there's a separate field for that later. There's also some growing here just for aesthetics. Now this is my workstation shed for every crafting needs. I designed it a bit because remember, we always have to work in style. Next is the other corner since this is a four corners farm. So each corner has their own purpose like, for example, the first one is for aesthetics and then this one is also for aesthetics. I hate how the slime hutch doesn't blend in though. But it kinda made do for its interiors. See? Just some random sofa whenever I'm in the mood to watch my slimes attempt to murder me. Super fun. Next is a small aquarium where I keep the junior legendary fishes. Not all of the fishes in game could fit here, so I just selected a few that I like to keep. And over here is a museum. I ran out of ideas on what to do with this shed, so... Yep. Moving on. Right outside of it is a fancy sunflower field with giant melons. Because why not, right? And over here is my favorite of all. Yep, I turned my greenhouse into a cafe after reaching perfection. Pretty neat, right? I even have an alien scarecrow with CA's mask to man the counter. Super proud of this one. Good job, me. The third corner over here are for farm animals and fish ponds. All stuffs here are for moolah, and even this shed right here has a minimal design. And yes, in case you're wondering, I do like making Japanese tea rooms. This middle area is entirely for bees, and at the right side is my vegetable farm. These are all for income. Not that I need any money at this point, but well, anyways. Oh, and here's a stable for my horse, Pablo. Look at him, he has a nice hat. I like that hat. Lastly, our vacation house at Ginger Island. Just a simple design, I really ran out of ideas, and putting too much plants is kinda off-putting. And that's about it. Thanks for joining me and I hope you like my farm. Don't forget to boot that like and subscribe for more cozy and indie game stuff is coming your way. Bye bye!